Dear future Brandon, you are going to forget this one. This is how to set up a cable on a robot. So I got this M10 uh, robot here, and it has uh, this great big silly gripper on it that I got from the CAD uh, library, which I completely forgot about until I made this video. So anyways, I need to run a cord from, like, say, up here to down here, and I need to follow the path of the robot so it won't... It'll show if anything's going to collide or stuff like that, see how it lays, see if it's long enough so I can order the correct amount of uh, tubing or uh, the correct type of end-of-arm tooling uh, so that it works properly. Anyways, to create that, it's real, real easy to begin with. So we're going to go to uh, Dress Out here underneath the robot, and we're going to right-click on Cables, and we're going to add a... Uh, where is it? Yeah, I guess it's just, it doesn't say cables, which is why I'm making this video. Uh, six, ah, here it is. We're going to say cable. Now this cable is going to be from uh, the top of joint three here to joint six. And so we'll have our starting point at joint three. And we can just hit apply right now, and we can see what this thing's going to look like. So it made this gray cable here. Uh, these other cables that are there and there are already part of the robot model. So let's make this one a different color just to differentiate it. So I'll change it to orange, and there it is. This guy's orange. So I want to turn show collisions off because I don't want this thing lighting up with uh, weird things happening. And I need to change this now so it's coming in the right, right direction. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit edit here for my joint three guy. That's going to give me this triad over here. So I want to pull this dude up and pull this dude over so he's sitting on top of the robot right there. Now, I believe this comes out the Z direction. I'm going to spin this down like this, and I'm going to hit Use Triad Location. It's going to copy that information in here. I can hit Apply to fix it, and there it is. I was correct. Oh, boy. I guess I want it a little taller, though, so let's fix that. Hit uh, Edit Location again. Drag the triad up a touch and hit use triad location and then hit apply so it fixes that. Cool. So now I want to have this thing coming out the top here because that looks like where the pneumatic connections are. So I go to my joint six side and I will hit edit triad here. And it stuck it at kind of a weird spot of joint six. So I'm going to pull this guy out, pull this guy up, and it looks like Z is going in there. I'm pretty confident. Z is the opposite for the other side. So I'm going to spin this down so that my Z is going pointing down. And that should that should be the ending point for that. So I'm going to hit use try location, hit apply. Bada boom, bada bing, there it is. So that's the that's the real simple cable is created. So I'm going to grab this and as I move this around, you can see my cable will move with the robot. And as I twist and turn the robot where it needs to go, the cable will move with the robot. Also, it's worth noting that uh, cables certainly take a uh, processing hit when they're being made. So if you want to move it around with the cable, you're going to have a little harder time. So usually once I've made the cable and proven it out mostly, I'll turn it invisible for the time being so it's not rendered until I get to the very end where I have to check the cables and stuff, and then I'll turn it back on and check it again. So anyways, this cable's pretty pretty long. I'm going to change this to like 600 millimeters that apply. Oh, too short. That's no good. It starts to break. So I'm going to say uh, 700. Still, still pretty short. I think if I were to turn this guy, I would probably... Yeah, he's, he's stretched pretty good there. So what you can see is that like something like this, it begins to break the cable. That little notch there means that's no good. Uh, so I'm going to select the cable again. I'm going to say 800. Apply. Very good. Okay, cool. So now we have excess slack on our cable. Very good. However, I think if I were to still move this, like, point the arm down, I may yet have an issue with that. So just, just for tries, yeah, that's still going to be too hard. Oh, it really isn't like that. So... Let's just grab this dude and move him a little bit here. Just kind of reset that green ball. Okay, cool. So I'm going to move him up a bit. 
just right there. So yeah, we're still stretching this guy out. So let's grab him. Turn these off because they're extra. Let's just put it back at a thousand because I want to show you some more stuff. So a thousand. Now we have all sorts of slack on that dude. Now what you're probably noticing is that it's not really being affected by gravity. So what we can do is we can go into physical parameters and we can have the gravity effect. By default, it's set to no effect, and we can set it to large. Okay, hit apply. Cool. That's that's a bit much. Uh, it's, it's really pulling the cable down. So what I really want to do is bring this down to like, uh, uh, 15 is good, 15, 16, whatever. Hit apply. Very good. So that's that's a pretty good looking fall of a of a cable that that thickness. Also, if you do change the thickness, say from 10 to or 20 to 50, that will affect how it falls. So that's that's a thick one there. We can bring this to 10 and see how that affects it. Yeah, bringing the width down also causes it to break a bit as well. So try to try to get like the correct size. But even if you do have, say, a real thin one here, here's the next thing we get to change. We can go to physical parameters and we can set this spring constant up really high. And usually I have it about 8,000. So I'll hit apply here. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a more, more of a bend in the thing before it begins to break. And so that's really useful when working with thinner cabling. Now here's the next problem. This thing's going through the robot. And obviously that's a no no good scenario and you'll you'll find other scenarios that's not good so what we want to do is we want to create a collision to push this wire off of this robot unfortunately you can't just say hey ignore the robot uh you can show collisions and it like doesn't really work for the robot itself so i'll turn that back off uh suppress the buckling seems to do nothing in my opinion and it's unfortunate but what we want to what we want to do to create it uh, an option where it doesn't go through the robot, we want to put something here in the uh, cylinders and spheres that repel this cable. And so under cables, we're going to add dress out. We're going to do a cylinder on joint three. So joint three cylinder becomes stupidly huge again. Let's, uh, let's bring this down to say 300 millimeters in diameter. That's still too big. 200. Still too big, probably. And 1,000 is too long. So let's bring that to 500. And so what we're going to want to do is that put that at the back of joint three. We're going to want to move this into joint three like this. So we're covering the main sphere, uh, or sorry, the main cylinder of our robot like that. And here's where I like to use wireframe a lot is this guy. So I can see what the wireframe is doing to the body of the robot. Now I can see... It's too big, bring it down to 150, eh, it's still too big, 100, 100, there we go, apply, cool. So that's just about the size of our robot. I'll bring this up to match it more properly, that looks good to me. And there we are, so I hit OK there. I'll go back to my cable, and now dress out is an option here. I. Uh, it's worth noting that... Other options, such as a box, don't work. And I've only ever used cylinders myself. So your, your mileage may vary depending on what this works. But anyways, I'm going to go with uh, click this button, and I'm going to drag this uh, repulsion all the way to large. So it's literally like solid to solid. Solid to solid is going to be pushing this cable out. So I hit apply. There it goes. Now it's pushed off the, uh, the body of the robot. You can select this dress out and hit invisible, but it will still consider it when it's moving the robot around. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to uh, move this robot a bit so it has more of a hit to the side of that robot. Almost there. And see, this, this takes more thought in the robot processing uh, the more cable stuff you have going on. If you have a, a collision thing like this that where it has to, con has to consider the collision of the robot arm to the cable, it takes more thought when it's moving it around. So just be thoughtful of that when you're doing it. So anyways, that is essentially how you create a cable. Now, instead of this cable being latched to the top of joint three here, 
you can change it to be latched to the base, which means anywhere in the world. And I've used this for, say, a hose with uh, a, a nozzle on the end of the robot that is piped directly up to the ceiling of a, of a part washer. And with that, uh, it, it, it just hangs from the ceiling. You can see what that hose would be doing uh, using the base here instead. And, of course, you have all the other joints as an option. A few more options here. Uh, you can see torsion, which I think is a really cool feature. Uh, this has saved me a few times as well. You can see if it starts, uh, the blue dots are on this side, and the blue dots go on that side. So you can see if you're if you're torquing it too much because it's twisting too much, that's handy to have. Uh, you can suspend it at a point with a spring. So if you do that, it adds a new uh, hook point to show where that is. Uh, and the suspended um, suspended location on the cable will, will you can say how far up that um, will be hanging to the cable or how far back it will be. Uh, wave, uh, waypoint location, same thing. A extra spot here to define that waypoint location and how far into the cable that is going to affect it. But that's usually not used, at least in my case. Of course, each robot program will differ. So there it is. That's cable in a nutshell. Very simple, very easy, more or less. We'll figure it out. Goodbye. Okay,